Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to use DOIs or URLs in APA citations on your references page. Most citations that you're going to get that are going to be from an online source are going to either have a DOI necessary or a URL necessary. So what the heck is a DOI? A DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier and it's sort of a stable link that's always going to help your readers be able to find your source. Um, now, not everything has a DOI. It's most commonly used in academic journal articles. So not every source is going to have a DOI available. If there is no DOI available and you retrieve the source online, then you need to use a URL, which is the web address. URL is a web address. So how do you know which one to use? First of all, I want to recommend to you a very useful uh, resource. If you are a student, I highly recommend you find this. You just Google um, this flowchart, DOI URL flowchart. It's on the APA style blog. You'll find it. And this is a very important document that you should have with you at all times. <laughs> if you are a teacher or a professor, do your students a favor and print these out and give one to each of your students. That would be a nice thing to do. Um, and this will walk you through pretty much every scenario that you're going to encounter and to decide whether or not you should use a DOI or a URL. I am just going to walk you through two of the most common scenarios that are going to come up. First of all, most of the time when you retrieve an article in a database, if it's an academic journal article, the database will give you the DOI information. However, there are some occasions in which there is, um, it's not provided. And so in that case, if you have an academic journal, it probably has a DOI, so you need to move to this next step here, which is to check crossref.org. Crossref is this magical website that looks like this. Um, you have to click on search metadata, and what you can do is just find any DOI. So if I go to this page here, and let's say I didn't, I wasn't able to find the DOI on this academic article, I'm gonna copy, and I'm going to paste here, and it's going to tell me the DOI. Beautiful. So I've got that DOI that I can put in my citation. Now, let's say there's no DOI. Either you searched for it in a Crossref, or it's the kind of source that's not gonna have a DOI. It's not an academic article. You're gonna walk through this flow chart, but at most of the time where you're gonna end up is over here at the end, where it says, um, the material is usually not just available in the database, and so usually you're going to end up over here. And what APA wants you to do is to find and include the homepage URL of the journal or newspaper or magazine where this came from. So this is the example in our second citation here where this came from The Atlantic, which is not an academic journal, it is a magazine, and we have the homepage of The Atlantic here listed for us. So that's what we're going to do. Um, the last item I want to just clarify is that there's quite a bit of um, discussion in this flowchart and around or whether or not you should use the full URL direct link to something or whether or not you should use the homepage URL. Now they do recommend the homepage URL in the circumstances um, and this can be a pretty tricky issue. So I want to direct you to the APA style blog just Google this article title. It's a beautiful article that sort of goes through the rationale of why, um, when you might want to use the full URL, when you might want to use the homepage URL, and sort of the rationale behind it. So that's a very useful article as well if you're citing lots of these types of sources.